What letter grade would you give Dad tonight? A plus. A plus. A minus. A minus. Hey, they they tough on me. I got the I got the toughest household on the team. Um, to be um, in a in a position where I can see my son continue to grow, both Bronny and Bryce. Um, Bronny in his senior season, so he has a big decision coming up about he wants what he, what he wants to do with his future. And seeing Bryce continue to grow, um, it's been an unbelievable. It's been an unbelievable summer, and just seeing their growth, both as uh, basketball players, but most importantly as young men. It's not easy being the son of a living legend, especially when the expectations are for you to eventually share the court with your father, even if it might be for one season or so. I got to be on the floor with Bronny, you know, either on the same uniform or a matchup against him. But I, I would love to um, do the whole King Griffey Sr. Jr. thing. And those have been the expectations for Bronny James, the elder son and the eldest child of the three kids fathered by LeBron James, who is currently a four-time NBA champion and perhaps the greatest player ever to grace the game in the modern era. Now, while the world was watching his son Bronny become a stellar ball player outside of his father's gargantuan shadow, the attention also turned to LeBron's younger son, Bryce Maximus James. And with the limelight looming on the young James brothers, comparisons and questions became inevitable, and sometimes even incredibly detailed. So stick around to the end of this video as we answer perhaps the biggest question to come out of this family story. Is Bryce James really a better basketball prospect than his older brother, Bronny? Now, while a direct comparison between the two may not be accurate, especially because the two play relatively different styles of basketball and specialize on different positions, we'll take a look at how they've fared individually so far statistically for their respective institutions, how the scouts are rating them in terms of ability, how their draft potential and ceiling looks like, and how their physical stature and build has attributed to their success. So let's start off the comparison by looking at how both the sons of the James Gang are built and cross-reference it with their positional ability and expertise on the floor. We start with Bronny James, a six-foot-three guard who in an early 2022 scouting piece by Bleacher Report was referred to as a connector or 3 and D combo who has great basketball IQ and plays the game the quote-unquote right way. And the same article had this to say about his offensive talents in basketball brain. Those show up the most when he's a facilitator in transition. James enjoys pushing the ball through backpedaling defenses and setting up finishers or shooters for easy looks. He has a feel for manipulating with speed, deceleration, or change of direction to create passing angles. His passing skills are his USP, and he has also shown potential to develop a fairly solid three-point shot. From a defensive point, he's not the tallest guard around, but he does have fairly solid defensive positioning and the right kind of build to defend NBA-level players. And talking about the younger son of the James gang, Bryce is reportedly three inches taller than Bronny, standing at six feet six, and is also disputed to be six feet four. But keeping that aside, he primarily plays the shooting guard position and is currently a three-star recruit. And as for his technical abilities, 24-7 Sports Director of Scouting Adam Finkelstein says that Bryce has the potential to be a star, but he needs more time to develop, and rightly so, since he is just 16. And as for an in-depth take on Bryce, Finkelstein also mentioned, he may not be the dynamic athlete or playmaker some expect at first, but he is a fundamentally sound player with solid perimeter size and a good early skill set. He possesses clear shooting potential with naturally soft touch, compact release, and the ability to make both threes and pull-ups. And while Bryce is a three-star recruit who has time to elevate himself into the upper echelon, Bronny is currently a four-star recruit for ESPN, Rivals.com, and 24-7 Sports as well. Now, when we turn our attention to the stats, we can infer that Bronny is a more well-rounded player in terms of not just his age and experience, but also in terms of his approach to the game, and that shows in his stats. As per Los Angeles Times' Luca Evans, Bronny James averaged 13.8 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 1.8 steals in the regular season of his senior year. Sierra Canyon won the Mission League title in three of his four years on the team. They won back-to-back -back Open Division championships his freshman and sophomore seasons. This is just before he committed to the USC Trojans and unfortunately suffered a cardiac arrest. We have breaking news this morning. The son of basketball star LeBron James is in the hospital after suffering cardiac arrest. Which put his entire basketball future in the air. And we made a separate video about it as well, so feel free to check it out right here. As for Bryce, he's much younger than Bronny for regularly tracking his stats, but he has already made quite the impression on recruiters and scouts alike. 
especially at Nike Peach Jam. Whereas per Yahoo Sports, James scored 12 points, making two of his three-point attempts, and his Strive for Greatness team defeated the Expressions in the 16U division 78-69. to And even if you were to listen to someone like Brian Windhorst, who has essentially followed LeBron James all his life, even he admitted that Bryce is more naturally talented than his older sibling and has a higher ceiling than his brother as well. However, he was also quick to point out that Bronny wants to make it to the NBA, whereas Bryce isn't someone who is badly obsessed with the idea so far, and fair enough for him because of his age. And he is more than welcome to change his mind in the upcoming years. Fun fact though, Bryce James has already signed a nil deal with Clutch Sports, the agency that already represents LeBron so we can already expect Rich Paul and co. to handle things for Bryce going forward, and maybe even persuading him for a move into the NBA. Now, if we look at the draft prospects and scouting reports of both of the sons of the James gang, you may find it slightly surprising that Bryce is actually touted to be a better prospect than Bronny, where the latter is expected to play perhaps more than one year of college basketball before he makes a move to the NBA and the sentiment about Bryce has actually been echoed by analysts, and despite being rated somewhere around 30th pick right now for the 2026 draft class, Bryce has time on his hands to elevate his draft status and eventually hope to crack the projected top 10 like his older brother. NBA Draft Room already talks about Bryce James quite highly, where the description about the younger James sibling says, a very skilled outside shooter with a soft touch and near-perfect form, Bryce is a big wing with a high skill level and a quickly improving game. He's shown the ability to score from three levels and has a much improved dribble drive game with better bounce and explosiveness. He's got a strong frame and should continue to add a few more inches to his height over the next few years. A lot of it will depend on how their respective college careers shape up, since Bronny was feared to take a medical red shirt after his cardiac arrest. And once Bryce commits to a certain school, his ceiling and projected draft stock is also bound to change with the way he's grabbing the headlines. Regardless, both kids look immensely talented, but the sentiment around Bryce is that he's a little under the radar with more natural talent, whereas the hype is around Bronny because of his obvious reasons and the fact that he is much closer to an actual NBA move and towards the crowning moment of sharing the floor with his father. But who do you think will make the better baller? And would you like to see them play together? And would LeBron James be the only player to perhaps share the stage with both his sons? Too many questions, and we await your answers. So drop all your takes in the comments below. And on that note, we finally come to the end of this video. Do drop in a like and hit the subscribe button to join our channel and join its growing community. And let us know in the comments section whether you're Team Brawny or Team Bryce. And we will see you in the next one.